Yes, I know, I talk about saving money, and then I talk about why investing before saving money is a lot better. I know this, but my main issue with saving has to do with... Hey, Freedom Frugalists, it's time for another episode of Frugal Freedom, where you learn how to become financially independent and also protect your well-being, as well as manage your time more efficiently and effectively. I'm your virtual mentor, Izzy, and today is another episode of Finance Friday. And for today's Finance Friday, I want to kind of share some observations that I had when I listened to people talk about saving money or even why they couldn't save or even stick to it. My first issue that I have is that you didn't hit the like button, subscribe, nor did you hit the bell notification. I mean, I, oh, oh, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> for the people that haven't, I'll wait for three seconds. Okay, thank you. Let's get into the video. Number one is not having a why. Not having a why is existential to a lot of reasons that we don't continue with things or even start them. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, your main why for saving could be so that you don't have to worry about if a bill isn't going to get paid or you're going to be kicked out or your lights are going to be cut off one of the issues that i do have with people saving and when it came to when i was saving was that i didn't have a why okay uh having a strong why will trump any obstacle that you face when saving okay a lot of us when we go to save we think of some arbitrary number all right we say Oh, I want to save $10,000, but we don't have a reason why we want to save $10,000 and thus we never reach $10,000. Also, most of us don't even have an end goal for why we doing, we're doing things. For me, for example, I want to save at least ten dollars to $20,000 in order to put a down payment on a house. All right. So my biggest why is to have a house so that I can live comfortably and have something that I own. Number two, you're saving for liabilities. Many people can save up for a new phone or a new car or even a new house. All right. Yes, your house can be a liability if you don't go about it right. All right. My model is to save to invest. Okay. When I save, I'm saving to invest in something that can ultimately make more money for example the reason why i want a house is because i want to have something that i can own and also uh if i do it right and if i research it right i can take some of the equity from that house and put it into buying another house and renting that house out so that i can make some more money i don't know what all goes into real estate so i've been researching it i've been reading a lot into it um but that's kind of like the starting point of why i want to buy a house so any amount of money that i save or i put back is going towards me getting this house and this is what i'm doing for this channel within the next few months things will look and feel more different so that i can get more viewers in order for and in order for me to do that i have to put back a little bit of money and invest into some great things guys and as you can see we're already starting with this <laughs> uh, i'm no longer I'm no longer on my black couch. I'm actually in my room. So, but when I start to get a little bit of money within the next few months, I'm also going to be investing into putting this channel in the right hands. Your first savings should be so that you can make sure that you have an emergency savings for JIC. Who is JIC? JIC is just in case because we all have a cousin named Murphy. And cousin Murphy says that anything that can go wrong will go wrong so in conclusion saving is a crucial part of becoming a part of the freedom squad hmm. maybe that's a another name for it but always have a strong why as to why you're saving and set a goal for yourself don't have an arbitrary goal of saving twenty thousand dollars just because someone said that's a good number why are you saving that much money? And if it's because you want to get a nice car, it's nothing wrong with it. 
but just know that you'll be right back to having to save money and the cycle will continue. So always be saving to invest and always have a why as to why you're saving. Along with your why, you need to set up a budget that allows you to comfortably save without much hassle. And for that, I have a complete series on here called No Discipline Budgeting, but if you need help budgeting, grab my free budgeting guide that allows you to set up your strategy for saving and paying off debt and living comfortably while doing so with little to no discipline. If you would like to get a copy sent to your email, the link is in the description below. No junk mail whatsoever, straight value. Once again, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And finally, comment down below and let me know why you're saving if it's not too personal. I would love to know. And lastly, if you have any other topics that you would like me to cover, I'm happy to see those below as well. I've been Izzy, your virtual mentor. And until next time, stay frugal until you're free. Peace.